Hello, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel, Talented Reads. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog um, that I did for the entire month of August, which is for the magical William Readathon, um, which is hosted by Book Roast. I will put her channel link in the description box below. This is for our second semester of the Academy, which is the Equinox. So I'm continuing with my calling and I'll go through all that. So yeah. All right, we are in the vlog room, which is also known as my bedroom. And um, we are doing, well, I don't know why I'm saying we, it's just me. I am doing the Magical Readathon that is happening in August. Uh, this is a fantastic magic readathon that is created entirely by Book Roast. I will link her channel in the description box. You can go watch all of the videos if you wish to participate. Um, so we are back for the next semester, which is the Autumn Equinox semester. So I've got all of my books picked out that I have on my TBR so far. Again, I'm kind of keeping with this. 20 book a month trend. So I've got some picked out right now. So I figured we could talk about those. And then as we do in other readathon vlogs, um, I have my syllabus here um, that we will look over for the readathon and see what I can kind of cross and use for the readathon and then we'll see if we need to fill anything else in. So let's get started. So first um, I am still doing the horror challenge. So I've got my five books put out for that. August is all about vampires. My favorite. So I've Got, um, Carmella, and I've got Fledgling, which will be my first Octavia Butler book, and I'm very excited about that. I got Carrying Comfort, which oh, is a Big Beast of a book, and I've got Nightblood, and In the Valley of the Sun, which I'm actually really excited. I'm not a big Western fan, um, but I've heard some really good things about this, and it's a Bram Stoker Award winner, so, or nominee. Um, so that means it has to be good, right? And yeah, so that's it for the horror challenge that I've picked out. Um, next would be the book of the month. So I've got The House Across the Lake, which uh, was an add-on for July. And then I've got You're Invited which was the July selection. Um, I've got my nonfiction pick of the month, which is the Ice Pick Surgeon, Murder, Fraud, Sabotage, Piracy, and Other Dastardly Deeds Perpetuated in the Name of Silence. Silence. <laughs> In the name of science. So, I've had this one for quite a while, actually. I'm pretty excited. I've heard some really good things about it. And next is a Below, 
by Laurel Hightower. Look at him, he's so cute. He's little demon eyes. Um, this is actually a buddy read this month. So short little novella, very excited for that. I was adding this to my, um, I keep a log of like all the books I have on my shelf and I realize I have another book actually by Laurel Hightower. So that's kind of exciting. Looking forward to that. And then I've got the couple of new releases that I want to read, which is the Paul Bears Club by Paul Tremblay. I've seen some mixed reviews on this. It's almost kind of like a, yeah, like they were saying, it's kind of like a non-fiction memoir type book. There's like, like little notations like throughout the book. So I'm in intrigued about that. And then I got Just Like Home by Sarah Daly. <gasps> so excited for this. And I, I'm not a fan of pink, but um, I do like the pink cover. It gives it this kind of like, I don't know, like mystery aura about it. Because you wouldn't expect like a thriller horror book to be this bright ass pink. So I'm very excited. Um, Sarah Daly was an author that I wanted to get to this year because I've um, picked up a lot of books by this author and just have never read them. So yeah, I'm very excited for that. And then we've got some net galleries, which I will put a picture up over here. Um, I have, I think I have three this month. So the first one is Suburban Hell, um, which I think is like a, I don't know if it's a zombie or a vampire, like moves into the city. It's kind of like a, um, I don't know, I guess like a horror take on, you know, like the wives club kind of thing for the neighborhood. Anyways, the cover is like super summery and fun and I love it. And then I've got I'm the Girl, which is the new Courtney Summers book, which I am so intrigued to read. I've only read one other Courtney Summers book, and I picked up the cult one that came out, was this year or last year? I think it was last year. Um, I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I'm interested in this one, and again, like... They're coming hard with the pink covers this year. And just this, like, simple, like, cover is just very intriguing to me. And then lastly, I have Friends Don't Lie. And I'm very excited to read this one. I know I pretty much said that about every book. But I read a book by this author from that galley. It was the last year. It was, like, a... Um, isolation kind of thriller and it was so good I freaking loved it um, so yeah I'm really excited to read her new book this year so that's it for all of the books that I've got on my list so far so let's kind of spread these out a little bit and let's see if we can kind of check to where we're at with my syllabus and see what we can get on the magical readathon. Let me grab, I have the syllabus, but I want to grab the profession thing so I can see what grade and I need and all that. Um, so be right back. All right, so I got the syllabus that I had and then I grabbed my calling since that's my profession. Um, these documents I did not create. Uh, Book Roast created them for the Magical Readathon. Uh, the link to the G drive for the Google drive that has all of this stuff is in the videos where she talks about this Magical Readathon. So again, if you want to participate, want to find a calling, um, get your stuff going for August, please go check out our video. It's freaking amazing, the work that she's done for this. But um, at this point, let me go to my profession. So I chose Necromancer. Pfft, is anyone surprised? And so 
Let me zoom in here. So I already completed the spring equinox. So the way this works is these are like classes that I need to take towards my profession. And the letters in the autumn equinox that is next to or in front of the classes is the grade that I need to get in that. So we're going to find that class in the syllabus, look at what grade I need, and then see what the prompt is for that. So let's start with the first one. Um, o in animal studies. And I think O is like, I think O is the first level. So animal studies is the study of familiars and it is the first level, which is a book with a familiar or an animal companion. Um, do any of these have animals on them? I'm definitely talking about an animal. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do below for that. Because that's a bat. And he's a cute little bat. Alright, so that's the first one. So next is Q in spells and incantations. Alright, so Q is the second level, which means I have to read two books for this. I have to complete O and Q. So O is use a color wheel and pick a book matching said color. Ooh. Alright, I'll have to do that separately and pick that. Um, but let's see what I'm hoping for here. I mean, obviously pink would be a good choice. I would say maybe green, black, white. Alright, I have some good choices here. Um, let's see what's next. So Q is find someone else's TBR and pick a book from theirs. Oh, Alright, I'll have to do that. <laughs> do that separately too. I mean, I got some new releases on here. And there's a lot of people with Book of the Month subscriptions. So... I mean, that's promising. I could probably, hopefully somebody will get some new releases on theirs. All right, what's next? So next is D in Conjuration, which is the third level, which means I need to read three books for this one. First one is a book with necromancy themes. Oh. <laughs> Not doing very good here, am I? So... I mean, Paul Barrows, aren't those like, it's a Paul Barrow, isn't that like a funeral thing? But I don't know if they're actually bringing them back. Um, these are vampires, which, I mean, I guess you could say they're kind of back from the dead, but I don't know if that fits. Just like Home, I think this is a haunted house story, so that's probably not. And these three, I don't think our necromancy themes. Boo. I think I'm going to have to do some research into that one. Alrighty. Moving right along. Um, the next one, where was I? Is Bone on the Cover in the Title. Ooh. Um, so there's no bones on that one. Oh, there we go. In the Valley of the Sun has a skull on the cover. That counts. All right. Yay, I got two now. Okay, let's see what's next. Is... D is to raise the dead. Reread a favorite. Oh man. So obviously none of these would work because I've never read any of these before. So <sighs> that's another one I will have to do separately and come back. Ooh, this isn't looking very good, is it? Alright. Moving right along. 
All right, so next I need O in restoration, which is a single object is the focus of the cover. Uh, don't really have an object on that. I mean, bats, but that's not really an object. That's an animal. Blood, do you consider that an object? I mean, a home. I wouldn't really consider that an object. Boo. I want a home, too. Ooh, an ice pick. Ice pick surgeon. I think that counts, right? That's an object. This is the focus of the book. Is the surgeon with the ice book? Yeah, yeah. I'm counting that. Yell at me later if you don't agree. All right, three books down. All right, last one is an O in demonology, which is to read a fantasy. <laughs> uh, horror mystery thriller horror 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 <laughs> thriller thriller um hmm. alrighty I guess I'll have to pick something separate for that all right well if anyone who's been on my channel long enough knows I hate randomly picking books so this ought to be fun all right, necromancy. All right, I think I'm gonna do the what was it, the color wheel first, and then I'm gonna see if I can find a wheel on the internet for that and spin it, and then do some research on the other stuff, and I will come back to you. So I. I guess the total is eight books and I have three picked out. That was kind of scary. All right, I'll be back. Alright, I am back with more books to read. <laughs> okay, so I did the random color wheel thing. Um, and I got red, which I was kind of excited about, but then I thought, crap, I don't have any red books. I mean, I guess I could have done that one, but to me, like... A majority of the cover should be red you know it just didn't seem red enough so I picked fangs like that's a red cover you know um and I actually can count this I think it'll be a good pick because I can count it for the 12 challenge which is to read 12 books recommended by 12 friends um cody's book corner she loved this was one of her favorites and she recommended it a lot on her videos so i am taking that recommendation um let's see what was next oh yeah find a tbr and pick a book from that tbr so I went on Instagram and just like scrolled through um, all the stuff on there and I came across a channel. I'll put the um, picture up on here on the screen and uh, she did a, I think it's a HS bookstore, I think that's the name of the channel. Um, she did a five-star prediction TBR. So in that, she has upgrade. 
on there. So that is one of my book of the month ones. So I picked that one to read. Um, I'm very excited to read it. I liked Blade Croucher's Dark Matter. I did not read Recursion, um, but I think I'm going to add that on for the August thing and read that eventually because I do like his writing style. So excited for that. Um, let's see. Then I had... Oh yeah, the book with necromancy things. I did some Googling. And this book came up, Alazzo. Is it Alazzo? Alazzo? By Darcy Little Badger. I heard very amazing things, and I believe. Yeah, it says Alazzo lives in the slightly stranger America. She can raise the ghosts of dead animals. I think that counts as necromancy themes. So I pitched that. Let's see, what else did we have? Oh yeah, we read a favorite. Um, so I actually had a hard time picking when I was in my uh, red shelf because a lot of good choices came up and uh, like I only had to pick one to reread. I don't typically reread books. Um, you know, when I read them and they're such a favorite, like I just move on with them in my heart. <laughs> um, but this one's kind of been circling YouTube again, and I think it's like Books and Lala. They did a, she has a book club, literally dead book club, and I think this was one of their recent picks. And there's a lot of people raving about it and big live show, and yeah, so um, it's kind of making its rounds again. And I did read this a couple years, was a couple years ago last year. I think it was last year. I think it was a couple years ago. Anyways. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. So just now seeing it kind of making its rounds again kind of makes me want to reread it. And I did pick up another book by this author. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get a little more enthused to add that higher up on the TBR. So that is my reread. Very excited about that. And the fantasy that I picked is another book of the month. Um, so that'll help me with my book of the month challenge. And this one is The Keeper of Night, which I don't know if this has got necromancy themes. But I think she's a reaper, which, you know, being the necromancy profession, I don't know, it just sounds right. So, everyone was saying this is a fantastic fantasy. Um, it's gotten some interesting reviews, I will say. Some very mixed reviews, but I always like uh, Japanese literature, so I'm excited to read that. And I think that was the last of everything, yeah? Cool. So that should be eight books, which I think we got. Yep, there's my eight. Now, I think in this Autumn Equinox classes, there are, I think she calls them quests that you can pick, which are like separate from the um, profession and classes. And so they're like these little um, adventures you can select to you know, go on, and I think there's a prompt, like, reads through the quest, and then a prompt, and then, um, you get so many points towards your guild tier level. Um, I, I know I want to do some of those, because I didn't really participate in that in the Spring Equinox, because they did a lot of those on Twitter, and I don't have Twitter. Um, so I didn't really get to participate, but I would like to this year, um, and they're doing them separate from the Twitter, so I'm excited about that. So I didn't really look at any of those yet, but I think what I might do is, like, maybe knock out the books that are, um, 
that I'm reading for my profession and then maybe pick some quests after that and see if I can find something that just aligns with the books that I have because um, I don't really have any room to add anything and see if I can make something work but maybe as I'm reading throughout the vlog we can look at those and pick together so we'll see how that goes so yeah that's it so this starts August 1st which this is the last weekend in July so it'll start Monday and I'm gonna try to knock out my short books first um, so Fanes will probably be up on that list because that's a pretty short book. Um, below, uh, I'm one bunny reading this, so I will get with my, my reading buddy and figure out when we want to read that. And then Confessions is pretty short, so I may opt to try to knock these out the first week and get those done and then spread those ones out. Cool. I'm very excited. That's a good August TBR, if I say so myself. See you August 1st. All right. <clears throat> it is August 1st, first day of the autumn equinox semester at the Aurelium Academy, the magical readathon. Um, so I was originally going to start with a different book, um, but I think I mentioned this in the video, there are some, like, adventure quests that you can sign up to do, which are separate from your, like, semester classes for your profession. Um, I'll put up a little graphic here with the quest that I signed up to do. <clears throat> um, I picked this book. I think I'm going to start with this and then, then I'll go probably into, I pick five to do. Um, that'll give me 50 points toward my tier level, so that'll be a good jump um but <clears throat> I pulled up the quest information so it says courier needed <clears throat> I have crafted a set of fine magical rings for the famously eccentric earthling Sarojan RR they live at the precipice of Mount Bloom, a once active volcano. Mount Bloom is only a three day walk from campus. There are no direct carriages, but the path was recently paved, so you should be fine to simply walk there. Meal substance and expenses cover a 15 GP per night. Safety not guaranteed. The package and delivery forms can be collected from the Aurelium Raven Tower. Reward is 10 guild reputation points. Reading prompt is a book with a movie adaptation. So, <clears throat> this was one actually I picked to read in July and then I hit kind of a reading slump early on in the July and I just didn't get through all the books that I wanted to read. So I'm gonna squeeze in the four that I didn't read in July. I'm gonna squeeze them into August and this is one of them. I picked it for my zombie uh, horror reading challenge. Thing, and I'm filming that wrap up this weekend so I wanted to try to knock out the last zombie book that I have to read for that and then I've actually never seen this movie so I'm gonna read the book and then watch the movie so that'll be good um I did not start this book at all so I'm hoping to get to kind of divided this into four parts um and I think I might just read like the first 
hundred pages today. I'm trying to get to that part. Um, that'll be a fourth of the way through because I also want to read Carmela. I'm hoping I can just knock this out tonight. It's kind of short. Um, which isn't for the Magical Readathon, but <clears throat> that's okay. I'm hoping I can stack them. So, yeah, let's get to reading. Howdy. It is the second. It's like eight o'clock at night. It is exactly <laughs> eight o'clock at night. Um, I'm kind of getting a late start to reading. I was trying to film my July wrap up, which I hate filming my wrap ups. And of course, I waited till like the last minute and chaos ensued so I decided to just be done for the night because I want to read um I read like a fourth of the book yesterday um it's pretty interesting I'm kind of liking it so far that's at the point now where the zombies which they call the hungries um, have kind of infiltrated their camp, so I'm curious to see, like, what happens. Um, so I'm gonna read, I'm trying to get, like, this much read tonight, which will put me at, like, the halfway points in my book. Um, so that'll be a good dent, I think, so I'm gonna try to read that tonight, and then I wanted to read this book in its entirety tonight which seems like a bit much but it's like a graphic novel so I think it'll read quick but one thing standing in our way is the fact that it's eight o'clock at night if anyone at all knows me that's like pretty much my bedtime <laughs> So I'm hoping I can read for two hours and like read this for an hour and then read this for an hour and then but I'm gonna tell myself I need to be done at 10. Um, I actually have some stuff I have to take care of in the morning before work so I'm hoping I can get that stuff done. I've been logging on to work a little bit early these last couple days because it's closed and it's busy. But you don't want that update. You want work update. So, as for the magical readathon, sorry, I'm getting my stuff in order here. As for the magical readathon, I am still doing my quest, um, my three day quest. I have arrived at my destination. I am taking an overnighter. But I'm going to read this for, I think it was my Spells and Incantations class, to read a book, this is my first level, to read a book, I was like the color wheel and I got red so I picked this, um, and now my teacher let me take some of this with me and then I'll do the like physical part when I come back and finish the other levels for the class but so those are my two goals quest class go magical readathon check in with you I'm gonna read until 10 that's my goal read until 10 hey I have a text from my friend um, I'm going to read until 10. I'll check in with you at 10 to see how I did. So, see you in two hours. 
good as I make it to town. 9.50. So close. But I'm freaking tired, so I'm going to bed now. <laughs> uh, this book was really cute. It's like a vampire who kind of falls in love with a werewolf. Um, but it's kind of funny and cute. It's a little graphic novel. There's some pretty funny parts in there. Um, in this book, I made it to the halfway point. Um, they kind of had to go away from the camper that they kind of have now. Up to this point, Melanie's kind of staying with them. Um, yeah, I hope it kind of picks up at this point. It's gotten a little dreary. Um, probably not the best kind of book to read when you're trying to stay awake. <laughs> but, so I got two of those. Up to read more of those. I think tomorrow I'm going to try to read another one of my small books, which I think is probably. The reread, maybe? I'm not sure. I can't think right now. Alright. Yay, it's finally time for bed. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Alright. It is August something. August. That's Thursday. August 4th. August 4th, and I am, I did an update everybody yesterday, wasn't feeling very good, so I didn't do anything but whine and complain about being sick. So, I'm reading today, The Girl with All the Gifts. I have a little bit left to finish that. This will complete my quest for the Magical Redefine. I would like to get like halfway. I don't know if that's exactly halfway, but that's chapter three. I think there's like six chapters in here if I remember correctly. So I'd like to get halfway through this, um, which will be for my second spells and incantations class um and I have my mother here with me it's reading night my mom is here because she is an expert on spells so she's gonna help me study what are you reading be not far from me uh, Mindy McGinnis. And who recommended that book? My daughter, Donna. Whoa, that's me, if anyone was wondering. And so far I like it, but I've only read the first chapter. That's okay. That's what us readers do. We decide when and where to like things in books. Ah, I see. Oh, well, I'm just learning to be a reader, so. Well, you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. And the founder of the Magical Readathon, Bookroast, created this ambiance room, which is freaking cool as hell. So, Mom and I are sitting in the common room and are going to study and read. We're very excited. I'll check in with you later. It is Friday. Yay. It's been a hell of a week. Work was very busy. Um, but it's Friday. Looking forward to doing some reading. Um, I have four things here. Um, so I finished The Girl with All the Dips yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? I don't even remember my days or... Might have been the us. No, I think it was... Anyways, I finished the girl with all the gifts. 
for the quest that I was doing. I did start Confessions. I got like to chapter three, I think. Chapter four. Yeah, I read through chapter three. Um, so a little more than halfway through. Um, this is a reread for one of my conjuring classes, I think. So I'd like to finish that. And then below is a little short novella that I'm actually going to be buddy reading with my friend tonight. We're going to do a Friday night read and see if we can knock this book out. Um, this I'm reading for animal studies for book with an animal companion. Um, so excited about that. I did start The House Across the Lake. I got only like a third of the way through. Um, pretty interesting. I'm curious to see where everything goes. Right now we've kind of like set the stage a little bit. There's like some flashbacks between like what's happening now and what's happening previously. And there's like... <laughs> a big difference between the stuff that was happening previously and the stuff that's happening now so I'm curious to see like how it all ties together but this really isn't for the magical readathon and I did um read a little bit of just like home on my lunch today um so I got to chapter nine i'm hoping i can read maybe just like a couple more chapters and get maybe halfway through the book um but again this one i don't think is really for a challenge at all for the magical readathon although i could probably fit into a quest or something but i don't know i'm not gonna do that yet um but these two are definitely for the magical readathon i'd like to read and finish these both of these tonight if I don't get to these, that's okay, but these are the goals for sure. So, I'll check in with you. I think I'm going to start this. I think we said we were going to start at 6, which I think is in like 10 minutes or something. Oh, 5 or 6 in like, oh, oh 5 or 7. So in like 3 minutes. So yeah, I'll check with you while I'm reading this one. So we'll, we'll read this, knock this one out, and then I'll probably get to this one. And then if I'm not too sleepy, I will probably read this. And then that, we'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling like. But this one for sure happening now. Well, hello everyone. We are at the end of August, last weekend in August, and <laughs> um, I'm kind of a horrible vlogger, I guess, because I can't remember the last time I updated you on anything, but um, I'm done with the Magical Readathon, so I thought I would just do a quick wrap up here. Um, I read a total of 13 books for the readathon. I read 8 books for my Necromancy Autumn Equinox classes. And those 8 were Below, The Ice Pit Surgeon, The Keeper of Night, Fangs, Upgrade, Alazzo, In the Valley of the Sun, in confessions and then I also did five, five yeah five quests um and for those I read carrying comfort you're invited night blood the girl with all the gifts and then there was one on my Kindle um called friends don't lie so, um, 
I would say this was very successful. Um, I got a total of, I believe, 100 points for this particular semester. I got 50 for completing the Autumn Equinox, and then I got 10 points per quest that I completed, and I completed 5, so that's 50 points, so that is 100 points together. Then I get to go on my drilled tier, so that's exciting. And even more exciting is merch. Um, just to let everybody know, if you have merch, like, just tell me, because I love buying everybody's merch. <laughs> I mean, my bank account doesn't like it, but that's okay. We're not here for them. So, I got some stuff from Book Roast's um, shop on Redbubble. It is the Moonlit Library. Um, so, I got a couple of things. Let's go through what I got because I'm like dying if I don't open this crap. Come on. I got a sticker, um, which is the sticker for my guild. My guild that I'm in is the Archivist, so I got a sticker that I'm going to put in my little ball journal for this. Very exciting! And I also got two shirts. Um, she had a couple of sweaters that I wanted, but they didn't have the extended sizes on the sweaters. Which I thought was kind of weird, but I just got two shirts. So I got... And that's how we do things. <laughs> Okay, so I got a regular Aurelium Academy shirt, and, oh, come on, Aurelium Academy shirt in navy. It's like, folded all weird. Come on. Aurelium Academy shirts in navy. Love it. It's like the standard university kind of shirt. Love it. And then I also got a shirt in my guild, which is the Archivist, so it matches my sticker. Um, this is the black with the gold lettering, which I find just lovely. So, that's awesome. That looks so good. I'll have to try it out, but I've bought stuff from Redbubble before, so I'm pretty sure these sizes will work perfectly. So, that is it for the Magical Readathon. Sorry, this vlog kind of sucked at the end. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's many more to come. So, yeah. Thanks for sticking around till the end with me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.